In this Fuji photo walk, I take my trusty X Pro 2, the lightweight 50 millimeter F2, and we hit the streets of Denver to see what we can create. When I say Denver, Colorado, what do you think of? Is it the beautiful mountains, the fresh air, the recreational activities? Well, guess what? That's exactly what I think too. Now I didn't grow up in Denver, but growing up thinking about Denver, it was always like, it would always bring up uh, these imaginations of just beautiful scenic locations and just natural beauty. And that natural beauty is exactly why one of my wedding couples wanted to have their engagement session shot in Denver. So since I was already gonna be capturing all of the natural beauty that Denver had to offer, I thought, why don't I make this Fuji photo walk as difficult as possible and not shoot any of that? The British explorer Isabella Bird said this about Colorado. The Rocky Mountains realize, nay, exceed the dream of my childhood. It is magnificent and the air is life-giving. Those are some pretty powerful words, but if you've ever been to Denver before, you kind of get it. But Denver has this other side to it that is, uh, I think, equally as beautiful, but gets nowhere near the amount of recognition that the mountains get. Just one stroll downtown and you will see that the man-made beauty can hold its own against everything that nature has to offer. I promise that if you were to ask any of your many geologist friends about what shapes that you might find in nature, a 90 degree angle would never be one of those. The simple shape of life is just simply much more organic than a 90 degree angle or a square. So it was my challenge on this Fuji photo walk to capture that. All of the beauty that Denver had to offer that was not organic in nature. So my goal for this Fuji photo walk was to capture two things, light and lines. When it comes to capturing light and lines, the direction in which your camera is looking is just as important as the direction in which a building faces. If we think of a simple building, it is a square, which means at any given moment, depending on where the sun is, light is only touching two sides of a building, which means that now not only does a building create lines, but the light itself can create a defined line. And that's what really helps this photo to stand out. If it was evenly lit, it just wouldn't look as compelling. Oftentimes I find that when I go out and shoot, while I may see something in front of me and recognize that there's something that I like about it, um, and I take the photo, it's really not until I'm able to come back that I'm able to recognize more of a pattern in not only the subjects that I was shooting, but also the way that I was shooting. But I think with an image like this, it is, it's exactly what you think it is. You could look at this knowing that it's Denver and I could tell you, all of these windows represent an office building that somebody has to go to and they have to be inside when we all know that they just wanna be outside and be in nature and it almost feels like a prison. While that, that actually sounds pretty good, that's not what I was going for. This is an image where I simply really liked the repeating patterns and I liked the lines and I liked the gradient of the light coming from the top right down to the bottom left. And that's all that you need to like a photo. It doesn't have to be some big, story that has some sort of deeper meaning. Sometimes you can just like the light and the lines. You never really realize how imperfect a window is until you look at a reflection off of it. What I love about this photo here is that we get the uh, rigid lines in the frame of the window. They are architectural grade. I don't know if that's really a thing, but it sounds good. It, they're precise. But the reflection of the building that you see on the windows is anything but straight. If you didn't know that this was a reflection, you would just take one look at that building and say to yourself, I'm never going in there. And then once again, with that beautiful gradient of light, this time coming from the left and then getting darker on the right. Ooh, I find it just interesting enough.
In seventh and eighth grade, we took a school field trip to Yosemite, and that's where I first learned about different rock layers and recognizing what they look like and, and what they can tell us. And I don't know what that was, but I feel like ever since then, throughout my life, my brain does a really good job at just recognizing different layers of different things. So while this photo here represents exactly what I was going for, light and lines, what I like is that some of these lines are more perpendicular than they are uh, vertical and horizontal. A line doesn't necessarily have to make a grid. Sometimes those lines can intersect with each other. And that different pattern of lines gives this photo just enough extra interest. If we look at the straight out of camera, it's just not as impactful. It's not a complete transformation, it's just five to 10%, but that little bit really takes this photo over the top and changes it from just a snapshot to a great shot. However, I know that editing can be a bit overwhelming depending on where you are in your photo journey, and that's why I wanna help you out with our free 52 Lightroom presets that you can download over at freephotographypresets.com. There's nothing to buy, you don't have to put in your credit card information, it's just free presets that I want you to download to give you that head start that you need in Lightroom to start taking your photos from those snapshots to great shots. So just head over to freephotographypresets.com to download your free 52 Lightroom presets right now. I think very rarely is it interesting to find just a flat shot of a building. But this photo right here is just line city. Not only do we have the straight line of the building, but we also have more lines carved into the facade of the building itself. And they work to frame in this strip of beautifully square windows. Oh, hold on, because we're not done yet. Each one of those windows is just beautifully filled with the most binary of colors, black and white. The white from the curtains and then the black from the empty room just cascading down in this vertical symphony. See, that's another thing where when I was there, it was just a cool building that I took a picture of, but then upon further review, suddenly it's a masterpiece. For all the photos up until this point, they were pretty straightforward. I saw something and I took a picture of it. This is the first photo where I actively tried to incorporate different layers of depth to emphasize my subject. While the pattern of this building can be seen as interesting, it's a pretty plain photo. With the other two buildings, they frame in just enough of the photo to where your eyes really can't look anywhere else but the hero building right there in the middle. And this building right here is the exact same building, but it's the exact opposite compositional technique, where instead of filling in the frame to draw your attention into the building that I wanted you to look at, I made the frame completely empty so that you had nowhere else to look but the building. And then a little bit of luck and timing was on my side to get that plane in the air. But as you can see, two very different compositional techniques, but they both have the same goal, to get the viewer to look where you, the photographer, want them to look. Denver is a truly beautiful city that sits at the base of an incredible mountain range. But sometimes I think as photographers, if we are not challenged, we will always take the easy way out. And while of course I did take photos of nature and being up in the mountains and you know the, the gorgeous views that it has to offer, I'm surprisingly not as uh, proud of those photos as I am with these photos taken downtown. And a lot of that is simply because when you push yourself as a photographer, when you put yourself under stress, you grow. Photos of buildings, architecture, photography, it's not my gig. But when you go in with a set of rules to follow and some limitations that you have to abide by, I really think that the photos that you're going to be able to capture are gonna be better than you expect. Simply put, I'm always gonna remember challenge more than I will the easy stuff. And depending on where you're at right now, photography may not be easy. But if you keep at it and you go through those challenges, it will be. It's those challenges that are gonna forge you into the photographer that you want to be. If you like this Fuji photo walk, I got a whole playlist full of them. Florida, Kansas City, Atlanta, interstate rest stop. They're all there for you, and I invite you to check them out. Talk soon.